Sir, it's indeed been an honor for us at Jain University that you delivered the convocation address today. Uh, what are your impressions of your day with us today, sir? It is wonderful because I have been seeing the growth of this university and uh, it's such a great delight to visit each time to see. And today, the report given by the Vice Chancellor was a revelation to see how wonderfully the university has grown in such a short time. And Chandraji has that real knack to get the right people and put them, give them freedom so that they will grow. And what a pleasure and delight it was to see you know, hundreds of them getting medals, ranks out of ranks in the university. And I congratulate all of you and our entire team. Sir, uh, in your convocation speech, you made this very, very pertinent reference to how uh, in this modern age, we also need to reflect on the treasure which is Indian and that's the way forward. So would you want to expand a little on that, sir? So Vivekananda said, we must combine the best of the East with the best of the West. Unfortunately, what has happened in our entire education system in India after the British rule, we have turned essentially Western. Whether it's engineering, whether it's medical, whether it's history, geography, psychology, anything you take. The Indian wisdom base has not been really brought forth. So Jain University is one of the pioneering institutes and I have been talking to Chandrai for a long time and they have been able to introduce some of them. But a time has come now as the growth has started growing exponentially. We must bring in this Indian wisdom base to a great extent. There is so much of in-depth research that is available in our Shastras, only we have to bring. For example, Dr. Narnagar is doing on the history and many other things. He is such a wonderful person. So like that, you have to bring many people who are very deep, who have the great knowledge of Sanskrit and our Shastras and unravel and bring it by scientific research. It should be in engineering, it should be in technology, it should be in all aspects, the faculties that we have. How to bring in this speciality of Indian thing in art, music, dance, drama, everything should be unraveled. And uh, we have been making an attempt at the university to actually bring it into our undergraduate and postgraduate curriculum also. Because at the end of the day that research should meet, should meet the student and help them take it forward. So would you have any message for the new generation of uh, learners? Now to bring about this dimension now, yoga is the real modern tool. You know? When I say yoga it's not really asanas as I mentioned there. It is a science of holistic living. It works at the physical level, mental level, emotional level, intellectual level and brings about the potentiality in all the students. So it should make a compulsory part of the entire education system. So it's very simple. We have been able to do that in school level, primary, high school, secondary levels, university level over the last 40 years. Simple modules. We have developed and standardized all the modules needed and we'll be very happy to infuse and bring about these things. And many people who are interested in yoga, we can train them that they go to us and then you can start introducing on a regular basis. It is not really taking some asanas and some pranayama. It should be for total personality development. How to use those modules for dealing with our challenges and also to develop, for example, IQ, memory, creativity, values, all these things. We have developed special modules. About 12 modules we have developed. Ego management, anger management, depression management, creativity development, physical stamina development, IQ development. Like that we have developed modules. That's how it has been made very interesting, very nice for the students to practice. Once they learn, it's very, very attractive for them. They don't want to be. Such should be the attraction that we have evolved. So my last question to you, uh, as the Chancellor of a University, uh, we have seen you working in the direction of uh, providing to the globe uh, what an Indian University can do. And in our own University, our President of the Trust, our Chancellor, has been making a similar effort. So what would you say about these efforts and where do you think they would contribute in this world of globalization? So in their own speciality, for example, you were aeronautics and aerospace and you were chancellor, you know. They have done wonderful things, make in India. What is needed for the country is make in India, as our Prime Minister wants. And here, many of the students are very innovative, very wonderful, brilliant and creative. And you have that incubation things that you are putting up here. And in every field you must have something in India. Unfortunately, even our TV and many other things, we did not develop in India. It's all borrowed, borrowed, borrowed. So we have to bring in, in all dimensions, the incubation and bring dimension. So as such experts whose things have to be used, 
to bring in the creative um, innovative dimension to bring in various dimensions that are needed for day to day things in our country you know that make in india project we have to take up on all fronts and do that so the second thing is our is the area of uh, rural you know people and already have been working on several dimensions but we must bring rurally relevant technology to be brought forth so the big indian science festival going on in iit delhi you know, in which uh, dr harshvardhan is uh, showcasing so they have a nice festival thing they have beautiful stars in which they have been showing there is a solar car you know that has been developed from one person here in bangalore and he drove this from here to delhi all the way taking 25 days you know and uh, he is completely on solar power such innovation should come up in the various ways then we are also trying to do that the dr prahlad who was the pioneer in akash missile who was with abdul kalam for a long time and we are developing some energy special dimension in that we can collaborate and we can do something like this thank you so much for these words sir and thank you for spending this half day with us at jain university each of us is blessed with your presence always it's so nice to come here and meet our chandraji and all the dedicated people and see the growth of the institution we're very proud and very so delighted thank, thank you so much, much.